Over the years, people have been baffled about some discoveries made in the deep. While some of them have been fully understood, most cannot be fully explained. Just like number one on our list, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Here are 10 underwater discoveries that cannot be explained. Number 10. The Yonugani Monument. The waters off the coast of Yanugani, Japan is world famous for the schools of hammerhead sharks that seem to frequent the area during the winter months. However, in 1987, when local scuba diving instructor and director of Yonaguni Cho Tourism Association, Kiyachiro Arataki, discovered something underwater that was far more interesting than sharks, everything changed. Called the Yonogani Monument, it is mostly composed of sandstone and mudstone, while various structures connect to the rock beneath them. The most prominent part of the monument is a giant slab of rock that is nearly 500 feet long, 130 feet wide, and 90 feet tall. It's hard to imagine divers missing this massive structure given that it is located in relatively shallow waters only 16 feet deep. Although some people think that these rock formations are natural, what makes many people, which includes some scientists, believe that the monument is more than just a giant piece of rock underwater is the variety of details that point to human influence. There are what looks like a couple of pillars, a stone column, a wall that is 33 feet wide, a road, and even a star-shaped platform. Also known as Japanese Atlantis, the Yanagani Monument is subject to continuous study and exploration, and it's only a matter of time before it reveals its secrets. Number 9. Symbols on the Sea Floor The depths of the ocean hold many areas in which humanity has very little knowledge. To this day, discoveries are still being made as humanity has only but scratched the surface of that perilous ocean floor. Discoveries in the fields of marine biology and archaeology are still unearthed today, and still making news when they are brought to the attention of the world. Take this one for example. When these strange patterns were discovered under the sea off the coast of Naples, Italy, scientists were definitely baffled. But like with most things, these symbols slowly revealed its secrets, and as it turns out, they form part of an intricate design which adorned the floor of a Roman bathhouse. Yep, the simplest and most mundane explanations always seem to be the best. Known as the Bayi Resort near Naples, the site shows divers the wonders that was ancient Rome. The designs strewn across the ancient floor are rather luminescent in the Mediterranean Sea under the light of day. In its day, which was approximately year 1 AD, it was known to be the resting place and hangout of the high-class portion of society of the time. Number 8. Atlitiam. Sea levels today are higher compared to before. That means that the world's oceans have claimed a significant amount of surface land and everything built on it, which includes remnants of early human settlement. Discovering these sunken settlements offers scientists insight into how ancient humans lived, but more often than not, they provide more questions than answers. Just off the coast of the village of Atlit lie the submerged ruins of the Neolithic site of Atlitiam. The site, which dates between 6900 and 6300 BC, lies around 10 meters beneath the current sea level and covers an area of 40,000 miles. Discovered by marine archaeologist Ehud Galil in 1984, one particular part of this sprawling settlement has baffled scientists for years as to its purpose. At the center of the settlement, seven megaliths are arranged in a stone semicircle around a freshwater spring. Some speculate that the monument was used for some water-centric rituals, but of course that's all purely speculation. Another mystery is the reason why the settlement was abandoned in the first place. Primary investigations point to a massive tsunami caused by a volcanic eruption. But as it stands, we have more questions than answers when it comes to Atlet Yam. Number 7. The Bimini Road. In 1968, a diver off the coast of North Bimini Island, Bahamas, discovered a series of stones 18 feet below the surface. The stones appeared man-made and were evenly spaced out in a road-like line stretching a half mile. A storm of publicity immediately descended on the discovery, with a number of individuals claiming the stones were a portion of Wall, or a road that was formerly part of a larger city. Everyone hoped the discovery would be connected to Atlantis, and the discovery of two other similar roads spurred the excitement. Being one of the most well-known legends in the world, anything found during an ocean dive even resembling a man-made structure has caused serious waves of media attention. Number 6. The Julia Sound A bizarre sound was recorded on March 1, 1999 by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. 
It was sufficiently loud to be heard over the entire Equatorial Pacific Ocean Autonomous Hydrophone Array for at least 3,000 miles. The unidentified sound lasted for about 15 seconds. Due to the uncertainty of the arrival azimuth, the point of origin could be between Bransfield Straits and Cape Adair. Many scientists speculate that the sound was caused by a giant Antarctic iceberg running into the seafloor. However, many are skeptical about that simple explanation. The main reason is that around the time of the sound's recording, NASA's 33A5 was able to capture photos that shows a giant shadow swaying through the southwest section of Cape Cadre. The photos are still classified, so you won't be able to find it anywhere. However, there are reports that the shadow was twice the size of the Empire State Building. Number 5. Elongated Skulls in January of 2014, a flooded sinkhole in southern Mexico that terrifies local villagers was explored by underwater archaeologists, who found the submerged cavern littered with elongated skulls and human bones. The underwater cavern, known as Sacuyam, is a sea note located in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. A sea note is a natural pit resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes groundwater underneath. They were sometimes used by the ancient Maya for sacrificial offerings. From the first day of diving, archaeologists discovered that there may be a very real reason why the villagers fear the place. It appears something terrible took the place there, and perhaps knowledge of this was passed down over the centuries, leading to the development of myths and legends. The team identified more than a dozen human remains. The bones bear no marks that would indicate cause of death, so the people probably weren't sacrificed. According to the researchers, the elongated skulls were intentionally flattened during infancy a practice that archaeologists are still seeking answers for. Number 4. The Antikythera Mechanism The Antikythera Mechanism is one of the world's oldest known geared devices. It has puzzled and intrigued historians of science and technology since its discovery. Consisting of at least 30 bronze gears in a wooden container that was only the size of a shoebox, the clockwork mechanism was highly advanced for its time. By turning a hand crank, the user could move forward or backward in time. The crank made the gears move and rotate a series of dials and rings on which there are inscriptions and annotations of Greek zodiac signs and Egyptian calendar days. The unique bronze and wood object was found with a shipload of marble, coins, glassware, and pottery in 1900. Since all the other artifacts were more apparently worthy of conservation, the mechanism was ignored until 1951. After an additional two decades of study, the first publication of the Antikythera Mechanism was made in 1974 by physicist and historian Derek de la Sola Price. However, Price's work was unfinished when he died in 1983, without having figured out how the device actually worked. Number 3. The Underwater Structures of Zakynthos In the summer of 2013, archaeologists in Greece discovered an ancient underwater city in Alicana, a sandy gulf nestled near the island of Zakynthos. The discovery included large buildings, cobblestone roads, and other relics, including 20 stone pillar bases, each featuring an incision over 30 centimeters in diameter. There has been much debate on whether these sunken relics were man-made, part of an ancient unknown city, or something created by eons of natural processes. Archaeologists with the Efferet of Underwater Antiquities of Greece, a department within the Greek Ministry of Culture specializing in marine archaeology, examined the site. They found no further evidence that this was indeed an ancient civilization. They further state that all of those circular column bases and courtyard floors were actually structures formed by the release of methane from cracks in the sea floor. Natural or man-made, experts can't seem to agree on a definite conclusion. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that this is one strange underwater discovery. Now it's time for the day's best pick. What doesn't belong beneath the ocean? If your answer is a train, then I gotta agree with you. That's why this underwater discovery can't be explained. Number 2. The Train Graveyard Off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey resides a mysterious wreck that has historians and enthusiasts puzzled as to its story, and also a returning entry from some of our previous lists. Lying in 90 feet of water are a pair of steam locomotives, which lay at the bottom of the sea for over a hundred years before being discovered. When divers first encountered this odd sight in the Atlantic, no one had a clue about the origin of this underwater train wreck site. The locomotives were discovered by diver Paul Hepler while he was mapping the bottom of the ocean. He was using his magnetometer when, all of a sudden, he received two huge signals. He initially thought that it was an unknown sunken ship, but was soon surprised with an even bigger mystery. 
Railroad aficionados excitedly examined photos, counting wheels and peering closely at the remains of smokestacks, all of which could offer vital details as to the train's origins. But still, no one can figure out where the trains came from. The most widely accepted explanation is that the engines were being shipped from Boston to New York and were possibly pushed or washed overboard in a storm. Why the crew would not have reported missing two steam locomotives once they made their port is anyone's guess, really. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Baltic Sea Anomaly More than 90 meters beneath the waves of the Baltic Sea lies a weird object that resembles the Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars movies. Referred to as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, the strange circular entity was discovered by Swedish explorer Peter Lindbergh and his Ocean X team in June of 2011. Pictures and videos were taken of the object, with the eyewitnesses claiming it looked like a giant mushroom, and samples of it supposedly brought to the surface for analysis. Conspiracy theorists leapt on the find and hailed it as proof that aliens had visited Earth. And for five years, few other explanations for the phenomenon presented themselves. Then another theory arose, with people speculating that this thing was actually a secret Nazi anti-submarine device. Very recently, scientists from Stockholm University carried out analysis on the samples card from the Baltic Sea Anomaly and concluded that it is simply a glacial deposit. But Lindbergh isn't satisfied with that conclusion, pointing out that it doesn't explain why all of his electrical equipment cut out when he arrived in the object's vicinity. Did we leave any strange discovery out? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing discoveries? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.